Hey guys, this is Adrian and today we're going to talk about the, fi the filter improvements. The first thing that we're going to talk about is dynamic options. Well, by default, you can declare the, op the options for a filter as a hash. And you can say you can have a key and a value and you can say like USA and USA or Japan and Japan and so on. But you can declare dynamic uh, options. I'm going to do this and I'm going to go into the course model and I have this method called countries that just returns an, an array uh, of countries. So USA, Japan, Spain and Thailand. So we're taking this array, we're mapping over it and making it a hash. Today we're gonna bring in something new. So we're exposing this applied filters object. This applied filters object is an object with all the filters the user has applied. So you'll get an, a hash with uh, the key um, being the name of the filter and uh, the value is another hash with the values and their states the, if they were uh, selected or not selected by the user. Um, I'm gonna go into my app uh, and just click some filters. And I'm gonna show you how this uh, object looks like. So you, you see you get the name of the filter and the values. USA true, Japan true, Spain false, Thailand false. Now in the options method, I'm using a helper, cities for countries that just goes over those uh, countries from the applied filters and selects the ones that are selected uh, and keeps the ones that are selected and takes out the keys. So in the end, you'll end up with an array of the countries that were selected in that um, filter, like USA and Japan. Cool. Well, with this array, I'm gonna go into my, um, I'm gonna go back to my model to the course model and I have this method that returns cities for uh, a certain country. So for USA, I have New York, Los Angeles, Japan, I have Tokyo, Osaka, and so on. So I want uh, the second filter, the course city filter, to actually show only the, uh, the cities from the countries that I selected. So uh, this is what uh, this method does. It takes the countries array USA and Japan and maps over uh, all of the cities uh, and it just picks up it I'm just doing a little bit of uh, data management it just picks them up it flattens it and turns it into a hash so in the end I'll have something like this like Los Angeles and the same here uh, and then maybe Osaka and so on cool now why is this powerful now this is powerful because now this filter, the second one, responds with different options to the first one. So if I uncheck Japan, you'll only see like US, US cities. If I uncheck USA, we have no options available. If I check Spain, we'll see like all the cities from Spain, right? Um, so this is very powerful. Next, uh, we can react to filters. Now, something that you may want to do is when somebody clicks on USA, let's say, and um, uh, after he clicks on the USA, not only that he, the user will see the cities from USA, but maybe you want to have the first one selected as a default option, or maybe all of them, who knows. So the react method, is the one that helps us do that. So what does it do? It also has access to applied filters and we check like if the user has selected a country uh, and if the user hasn't selected a city yet. So if the user selected a country, we're gonna go into applied filters, uh, into the country filter and take out all of those countries uh, and then create a hash with those countries. So we're gonna respond to this filter the same way we would respond in options, right? And something like Los Angeles and the same here, Los Angeles, right? So we gotta respond with the same type of object 
from options, right? Cool. So now this uh, react this filter will react to the course country filters. So now if I go back, I'm gonna reset these filters. I'm gonna click USA, and you'll see that the first city is selected. I'm gonna reset and check Thailand, and yep, the first city is selected. So you'll see that all of the records have been filtered out to only contain the ones that are in Thailand and Chiang Mai. So this helps you create like better filtering and a better experience for your uh, users. Coolio, empty message. So you saw that you may notice that you, ha you have this message like no options available for the course city filter. Now you may want to customize that and you can easily do this using the empty message option. So please select the country to view the options. And now after I refresh the page, please, you have this uh, custom message. And finally, keep the filters panel open. So you may want to, you see when I click on a, on a country, it will refresh the page and the filter panels, uh, the filter panel closes up. Now you may want to keep this open and you can do that in the resource. So course resource and use the keep filters panel open option. I'm gonna set that to true. And now every time I, ref I use the filters, it will keep them open. And that makes it like a very enjoyable experience. So USA, I'm gonna say San Francisco and Los Angeles. Now I can close it or I can just click outside it. We hope you like these features and you build a powerful and beautiful experience for your customers. Thank you.